In this segment, what we're going to talk about today is the importance of bleeding a brake system. The reason for bleeding a brake system is to remove any trapped air within the system. When you have trapped air within a brake system, you have compressibility. Compressibility leads into spongy brake pedals and brake fade. Most importantly, when you're ble bleeding a brake system, you want to have the right sequence. It's very important to re reference your sequence manual on how to do it. Years ago, before the introduction of ABS and traction control, you always started from the furthest wheel back and worked forward. Let's take a look at what we're going to do here on this vehicle. Okay, we've uh, decided what the sequence is on this vehicle by going through a sequence manual. In the sequence on this particular vehicle, you start at the right rear. There's a couple different methods as far as bleeding the brake system. One method is a manual system. That requires two people. An assistant up in the vehicle pumping the brake pedal while the technician opens the bleeders and cycles the bleeder screws to get the air out of the system. Another alternative is a pressure bleeder. Pressure bleeder where you actually pressurize the brake system starting at the master cylinder and pushing the fluid back through the system to bleed the wheel. The third system would be a vacuum bleeder. Vacuum bleeder actually hooks up to the bleeder screw and you pull the brake fluid back through the brake system to alleviate the air. We're gonna do the vacuum bleed on this vehicle. Okay, in this procedure, as we mentioned, we're gonna do a vacuum bleed. The advantage of a vacuum bleed is you need one person to do it. The vacuum bleed, you're actually pulling air from the master cylinder through the system and throughout the caliper. What we do is open up the bleeder, apply vacuum, and what you're gonna see is the air bubbles coming through the plastic tubes. Once those air bubbles disperse all the way, you know you have the system bled. As you can see, by applying the vacuum, we were pulling that brake fluid through the caliper into the uh, reservoir. If you have trouble getting all the air out of the system, if the vehicle is equipped with ABS or traction control, you may need to use a scan tool to cycle the hydraulic control unit. On this vehicle, we really didn't have any problem with it. We've got the right rear bled. Let's move on to the left rear at this point. During the bleeding process, one thing you want to make sure is never let the master cylinder go empty. Always make sure it's topped off. Most importantly, when you're finished bleeding a brake system, top off that master cylinder at a proper level. At this point, what we do is we'll evaluate the brake pedal. How is that brake pedal? Okay, we got a nice high hard brake pedal. Our next step would be is put the wheels on and road test the vehicle, and I think we're gonna have a happy customer.